What's up, you guys? We are back for part two of this luxury mall food court. Let's go spend $100 and see what we can get. Come on. All right, you guys know the drill. Camera goes first. Wow, that door just shut right on you, Jake. They didn't give a damn about you. Wow, it's popping today. Let's just hope everything's open, they got food, and let's get crazy. Come on. Shaquille O'Neal. That's Michael Jordan. Oh, sh no, that's I don't the think that's either of those that's guys. Genie wish the bottle from the belly. I don't know, but it ain't none of those people we thinking. All uh, right, we gotta go to Slab. That's yeah, the first one. We're starting one. with Slab because we talked about it last time, but it was closed. Today it's open. We're getting slabbed down. Come on. I'm gonna slab your knob. Whoa. Hey man, there's the wiener store right here. Just calm it down, okay? Don't get too excited. The wiener store. Oh my God. At this point, we gotta give it up for Slab. We're giving it up. Coming soon? Not happening. That place sucks anyways. Let's keep on looking. There's tons of other spots. We gotta do the Brada house. It's Tatiana. Y'all remember Tatiana? <laughs> I couldn't forget her. All right, so I guess we'll start here at the Brada house. You guys already know I'm lactose intolerant, so we're gonna send something big and we'll oh. see what happens to my stomach. Wow. Ooh, that looks like a lot of cheese, man. Are we sure we want that? Yeah. We only got $100. You know the deal. Continue as guests. We ain't members. That truffle. That's one. what I was thinking, or the too. Smoked turkey. Truffle. 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 Or the chili might be good. Cal Brian. Cal Brian. Oh, I gotta call Brian. Okay, sorry. Truffle it is. First one. $18. $18, man. Dang. $20. Oh my goodness. All right, we still got $80 to spare. Okay, our first meal is here. This is what it looks like. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Loki smells ruffly. Loki smells like nothing, or I have COVID. So originally I thought, you know, maybe this could be our thumbnail, but then it came out and it kind of looks like a sandwich that was dropped in dirt on a New York subway. And they just picked it up and said, here you go. Let's hope it tastes better than it looks. Okay, so what we're working with right here, we got prosciutto, we got burrata, we got uh, caramelized onions, and we got truffle. Oh, it smells like truffle. Man, I'm a little nervous. I'm so excited. I want to try this my whole entire life. Really? These yeah. people have 30K on Instagram. Let's see if they earned it. I was expecting it being hot though. Very salty. If it was hot, it would be better. I mean, man, something's like stale in there. I don't know if I like it. I don't have paper in my mouth. Yeah, look at it. I hate to show you guys this, but literally it has paper still in it because they cut it in half with the paper. I knew I was chewing on something weird. It's like the paper. I don't think you should cut a sandwich when there's paper on it because I just had paper in my bite. I don't know if I really love this. I think this is gonna make my stomach bubble like no other, my man. $20, would you spend it again? No. No. This one's a bust, man. Let's keep on looking though, there's more shots. Let's Whoa. go. More paper in mine. Go give it back to us, that shit was disgusting. Don't eat this one. Where's the trash can? I wouldn't even feed that to my worst enemy. Uh, yeah, I would, cause that shit tastes like My worst enemy could eat ass. Hear me out, y'all. You know me, I'm a carnivore to the day I die. But some of you guys aren't. Some of you guys be like, try some vegan food. Well, we're here at Man Eating Plant, a vegan spot here in this luxury mall. I'm not gonna lie to you, their fried shroom bao bun sandwich looks pretty dang. Check this out. That'll give a blind lady vision. You know me, I love a good bao bun. I love a good bun. You know me, Jay, I love a good bun. Anyways, all right, let's try this thing and I'll let you guys know how vegan food is. All right, life hack. You don't gotta wait in lines around here because these computers can order from everywhere. So watch, we're here, not a member. You see it on here? Man-eating plant, look at that. Fried shroom bao, extra spice. Yeah. All right, y'all, another 16, wait, let's see tax. Loading, so, slow internet. Okay, 18 bucks. So how much we got left now? We had 80, minus 18, 68, 62. Don't matter, 62. We got $62 left, let's do this. They're, they're quick today. They're moving fast and I can respect that. You know me, I'm Dr. Riz. I'm always waving and smiling at the ladies. And some of the men. What's up, handsome? <laughs> what do you say? Look at him. So. <laughs> Thank you guys. All right, we got it. Check this out, come here. So right in front of us, we got extra chili on our fried shroom bao bun. So this is for all the vegan and vegetarians out there that are constantly like, you show no love. This is for you. Oh wow. Whoa. How is that a mushroom? Tastes like a mushroom. Oh my God. That's probably the freaking best thing I've eaten today. This is good. This is really good. Whoa. Y'all vegans been hiding something from me. I would say it's not spicy though. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Huh. 
Wow, this is incredible. I don't taste the spice though. It's good though. It's really good flavor. It's the caps of the mushrooms and they're thick. I believe this is a giant portobello mushroom in here. It does have this chili oil that's on the top and it's really just the chili oil. That's what makes it spicy. Um, it's I not- there's some flakes on it too. And there is some flakes. I think that might be a part of the chili oil. It also has some uh, cilantro on the top and maybe a sauce. I'm not exactly sure, but either way, the flavors that are bumping out of this is seriously solid. Look how thick that That's what I'm saying. Like I almost thought it was a piece of chicken, mm. but then I remembered it's a man eating plant. All I gotta say, man, bow bun, fire. I could take a nap on this thing, use it as a pillow. I'd be back for it. I'd come back for something like this. And if I had only one thing to take on a private island, it would be a bow bun. So I have a pillow and a snake. And a bun to touch. And maybe something else. Well, let's keep it moving, come on. My Glizzy lovers, we're here in front of the Glizzy Gladiator storefront. We're about to gladiate a Glizzy. No hands, all throat. We're gonna swallow one of these things down. So let's check out, their videos look incredible. I mean, yeah, that was a great video. Anyways, let's order one. Hey, what's going on, uh, Diane? How do you know me? Oh, okay, good. I was hoping it wasn't something bad, you know what I mean? Like, woof, wouldn't be from the shoplifting I did earlier, right? That's what it is. What would you suggest I order from here? Like, I want something crazy that looks good for video. Is that piggy pop? Is that the top Is it like a corn dog, though? No. Oh, so I can see the wiener. Okay, good, because I can only eat things that I can see the wiener of. Perfect. Thank you, piggy pup it is. That one looked like the best one. They I all need look it. like to me. Look, we're not hot dog lovers here. I'm trying, okay? I'm trying to get another audience, that, that audience. $10, whoa, what kind of sauces? Two's up to nine. Should we just put them all except for ketchup? I don't need them all. I know, but like something crazy looking. Like what would be good with bacon? Maybe barbecue sauce, jalapeno, That's hot a, sauce. I don't know, you, you might be throwing up later today. I'm already starting to feel a little Me nauseous. Too. Nacho cheese. What the f kraut? Sauerkraut? Oh, all right, it's only $10. Let's try it, okay? We're gonna put more stuff on it. Let's get the burger spread on it. We're gonna get Chipotle mustard seed, and that's it. Add to order. See you to check out. All right, 12 bucks. So we got 50 bucks left. That's still a good amount. You know someone's bored when they're cleaning a clean surface. I mean, there are no other customers here. It's a little alarming, but. Thank you so much. No, I think we're good, appreciate it. As you guys saw when I was walking over here, this amazing merch I'm wearing, you guys can pick up at brandontaylor.com. This is the only way we make these videos possible. Here is our glizzy, man. I'm not gonna lie, that kinda looks fine. For a hot dog, that looks good. And I, I can always respect a place that gives you wipes so you can wipe off your dirty hands after. Let's eat it. Let's go. This one is gonna be a messy one, so roll up the sleeves. My hands are already messy on the other hand, so. I feel like they make this kind of you know box for it so you can kinda just scoop it into your mouth because you don't wanna pick this thing up. So first we're gonna do a wiener test. Mmm, nice snap to the bite. That ain't no boiled wiener. That's grilled. Not as flavorful of a wiener as I ever tasted before. Oh my God, the bun is soft. All right, so we got bacon on here. We got every kind of dressing they have to offer. I'm just gonna kind of take the bite of the top of it and we're gonna send it. Here we go. That's a monster bite. It's good? Fire. I don't even like hot dogs. But the combination of all these sauces, the bacon, crunch of the bacon, snap of the wiener, softness of the bread, and then the sauce, orgasm in your mouth. Oh, good gracious, Jake. I'm sorry to say it, but my man, you gotta try this. All right. Get in the hot seat. Go for it. Oh, dude, you said my bite was big? Those eyes are moving. It's a lot of sauce. A lot of sauce. But it's really good. And that's coming from a man who doesn't normally partake in the glizzy game. I don't like the hot dog part, I just like the sauce part. That's what I'm saying, the bacon. the bacon fire. They need me to make a bacon dog. All that on a burger would be fire too, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, overall, I'd definitely do it again, but if it was a burger, not a hot dog, I don't like them. Wait a second, we gotta use the wipes. My hands are oily, I can barely open this dang thing. <laughs> what the heck is this gonna do for me? <laughs> All right, 50 bucks left to spend. Let's go see what else we can get, come on. Y'all remember last time I wanted to try the dumplings because it's a little shorty dumpling that was up front? Well, we got a new one today. So let's get some dumplings and see what's up. Right here, dumpling monster. Oof, I can go for a good dumpling. Pork and shrimp maybe? They also have steamed ones. Pan fried better. Pan fried. I say pork and shrimp. Yeah. Something different. $13, wait, tax. All right, 15 bucks. 50 minus 15. We got $35 left. Dr. Riz is in the house. We're gonna go see what's up. Film low key though. Oh, but I don't know. I kind of want her. Oh, I gotta make a decision here. Dumbling girl or this shorty? Ma'am, do you mind come over here for a second? What, she say no? Hey, what's up? My name is Brennan. Kelly. What is it? Kelly. Telly, like the television? Oh, Kelly. Oh, Kelly. Okay, like Ken and Barbie or whatever. Anyways, <laughs> listen, we're doing an interview real quick. You have a quick one second? Yeah, sure. We're interviewing the prettiest girls in here and we're asking them to rate me one to 10. 
Damn, okay, 9.5. So we got two of the numbers. I just need uh, eight more. Your cell phone number. Yeah, can't give that. All right, I'll, I'll take the 9.5, man, whatever. Anyways, thank you so much, Kelly. We appreciate you. Have a good one. Listen, sometimes you strike out, but at least we hit for gold. You said eight. There's only seven numbers. Ten. There's an area code. You can't call someone with just the number, Jake. This is 2023, my man. Anyways, what's up, man? Nice Woodland Hills. I like that team. Wait, that's the city we're in. Woodland Hills baseball. West Hills basketball. baseball. Basketball, man. Basketball. I don't know. I'm confused. Listen, I'm just really pissed off. I struck out. Oh I'm supposed to be the Riz doctor. We got to make up for this. We're going to make up. Hold on. Give me a sec. Let me scout. Give me a minute. What's up? Yeah, what's your name? I'm Mara. Nice Mara. I've watched you before. You have? Seven, How old are you? I'm 19. 19. Would you give me your number? Yeah. All right. We're back to good, you guys. <laughs> we're going at it. All right. Should we get a pick? Yeah, let's do it, my man. Look at oh, This is Brody right here, and this is Brody Senior. <laughs> Y'all go to the same place to get your hair cut? No. Me too. Look at us all. Yeah. We all got the bird's <laughs> nest. I f*** with it. Let's do it. I'm thinking my goal for this manager, I'm going to take a bite of the dumpling right in front of her. I'm going to be like... What the heck is this? She's like, what's wrong? Your number is missing from it. No, you spit it out and you go, I bet you taste way better. Oh my God. Jake, that's how you get a freaking restraining order, okay? I'm not trying to get banned from the mall. Oh, what did I step? Oh God. I stepped on my hopes and dreams. Hey, what's up? This one? I think it's this one, the shrimp and pork. Shrimp and pork? Is your phone number? Here? Yeah, you got my number now. What's yours? <laughs> I was just playing, I was just playing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Do I have to like dip it in something or just eat it as is? Okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Don't feel left out. You can give me yours too if you want. <laughs> Thank you. You guys have a good one. All right, let's do this. So what comes next is our dumplings. You know, hopefully these dumplings are a little bit better than my attempts at Riz today. Haven't gotten any numbers, but I've gotten some laughs. And laughs sometimes are more than numbers, right? Laughs give you extra life. Exactly. So these things look nice. We got the pork and we got the shrimp, so we don't really know which ones we're dunking into. They gave us soy sauce. Let's try it. Oh, my shrimp. I my shrimp too. Pretty good. They are pretty good. It's like a good little finger food. Like it's not something that's gonna fill you up. How much are these again? 15 bucks? This place it's, is expensive. It is a little bit on the higher price side. So it just depends on what your paycheck was this week. And if you want to blow it all at this luxury food court or you want to save it and invest and actually make something of your life. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, they're decent. The more I take a bite of them, the more I realize it's kind of very plain. The only thing that really has any kind of flavor in it is the meat. So I'm hoping I'm gonna bite into a meat one now. It almost looks like it would come like out of a Trader Joe's frozen bag. Yeah, I mean, wait, maybe the ones with the blue, no, they all have blue on it. They have some like blue mark on it. I'm not sure what that mark means. The mark of the beast. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it's almost just like a waste of putting food in your body. Like, it's not that good of food to make me want to continue to eat them. I tried two of them because I wanted to try a pork and a shrimp, but pretty sure they're all the same. Pretty sure we got bamboozled. We still got some money left, 35 bucks. Let's go see what else we can get. Come on. Look, you guys, we're kind of running out of spots here. I think we, this is like a better time because this time we're getting stuff that's actually affordable. So next thing we're going to get is an acai bowl right here. I feel like it's good to try all different types of food, so an acai bowl. I should just become a member. Yeah, we probably would get something for free by now. Where's the 12 ounce? Oh, look at that scam. Big scam, you guys. They're trying to upcharge it. Look at that. They got a 12.50 one. Why are they trying to charge me $14? They don't probably have it anymore. Dang it. So it did say unlimited toppings, which is a great thing. So we're going to put bananas. We're going to put coconut. We're going to put strawberry. We're going to put peanut butter. We're going to put blueberries. We're going to put granola. Love granola. Peanut butter crumbles. Collagen powder. Doesn't that make your hair grow on your nails? You know, keeping up a do like this, you gotta have some collagen. We need that girl from last time to give us a discount. Sixteen dollars. All right, thirty-five minus sixteen. Quick math. Thirty. Twenty. That'd be five dollars. All right. <laughs> Their acai comes from an ice cream machine. Wow. I don't know how I feel about that. Extra granola, please. <laughs> I love granola. Oh, we got a baddie over there. Damn, she's with her boyfriend and she waved. <laughs> oh God, you can't be trusting these girls, bro. Show her. She's bad. She's with her boyfriend too. Damn, bro. Should we try to give her a wave again on camera? No, 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 no. Not too nah, much. Nah, nah, nah. Should I give her like a call me? Nah, 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 nah. She's blushing, bro. I can't trust women, man. How's she gonna wave right in front of her boyfriend, bro? What if the boyfriend gets up and he's like 18 feet tall? Oh. And he comes over and he goes, you, you're trying to wave at me? Holding a bubble. I'm gonna be like, if he said that to me, I'll be like, uh, I was waving at you, handsome. <laughs> oh, wait, she's standing up. Maybe she's gonna come talk to me. What if she said I'm waving at the police to come over? <laughs> 
<laughs> never stop recording, because you never know. She might come over here right now. I gave her one of those twinkly finger waves. You know, like one of these? Yeah, what if she thinks you... Uh, she started blushing right away. Yeah, now she's trying to give googly eyes to her man. Little does he know, she's mine. That's my girl now. Hey! You have? Yeah. Uh, my name is Brennan. Brennan. Yeah, what's your name? My name is Jackie. Jackie? Nice to meet you, Jackie. And what's your name? Ken. Ken? Ken. Hen? Yes. Like a, like a chicken? Or like a hen. Like a name. Oh, I apologize. That is so messed up with me. I'm going to be canceled now because no, I did that. Good. You can call me chicken nugget. <laughs> okay, see, I didn't do that. No. But I did Bach, so. You did. Thank you, though. This is beautiful, Hen. You're welcome. Enjoy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Anyways, guys, what is going on today, yo? <laughs> it's not your this day. This is not my day. Listen, here is our acai bowl right here, okay? The interesting thing is it's not a bowl. It's a cup. So it's going to make things eating a lot harder because as soon as you try to dig in, the masterpiece is gone. But that's not going to stop me, so unfortunately, the granola is pretty far down there, deep on past the peanut butter. Look at this. Let's try this thing. Look at that. It's got layers. I don't know. Oh, the collagen's. They didn't even mix it. So we're gonna just do a mouthful of powder. It just looks like. Look, it looks pretty. It looks good. <laughs> She's watching. Hold on. One more bite. I got ripped off. It's good, but it's not your typical acai. It's like acai flavored Slurpee is That's what I would yeah. say. Like it's not because it's melted either. It's kind of just very icy. You think their machine's not cold enough or what? No, it's, this is what it is here. It's not like that thick acai that you're used to. It's more of like a, an ice cream or like a Slurpee that's flavored with the acai. It's not bad, but it's not great. Let me give it a try. For 16 bucks, I'm going to eat it. But would I order it again? Probably not. I'm going to try to go to the bottom. All right, let me scoot back. Oh, don't break the spoon, boy. Oh gosh. Look at the powder. Damn. I almost, oh my goodness. That's all powder. That whole bite is powder. Cinnamon challenge. It tastes like I broke up a pill in, in my applesauce. <laughs> Try the acai on its own. I mean, it's not terrible, but I'd rather go to like a real acai place. Right. Like, like scoop it out of a bowl. Right. Like this isn't real acai. It's like ice cream flavored acai or Slurpee flavored. It's like what I imagine. Like they made an acai flavor at 7-Eleven. What it honestly tastes like to me is if they were to make a fast food acai joint, this is the type of acai you would get. You just know the quality is a little bit different. It's still edible, but it's not your first choice when you want some good authentic acai. $100 budget. We only ended up spending 80, which means $20 to spare going in my pocket. That's gas money. Would you guys eat at this luxury food court? Let me know in the comments down below. I have a brand new song out right now called Higher. Go stream it. First link down below. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.